We bought this china cabinet from Facebook Marketplace for $100, and it's in really good shape. We removed the hardware and cleaned off all of the grime, and I wasn't sure what hardware I was going to want to use, so we filled in the inside holes of the drawers, and then we filled in all of the scratches with wood filler. Then I removed the glass and the fretwork from the top doors, which was a little bit <laughs> nerve wracking, but I didn't break anything. We sanded the quick wood down and scuff sanded the whole cabinet to help the paint stick to it better. And then I cleaned up all of the dust with my vacuum and tack cloth. I taped off the bottom cabinet and then I sprayed some black primer onto the cabinet. I didn't spray it inside the cabinet because I had other plans for the inside. The inside I primed with white shellac primer and I let it all dry overnight. The next day I sanded the wood filler and the rest of the hutch to make sure everything felt nice and smooth. And then I taped the upper cabinet off so I wouldn't get any paint inside of it. While I was doing that, my husband put the paint in the paint sprayer. For this project, we picked out Wise Owl One Hour Enamel in the color Black Cherry. I felt pretty good about it until I started to spray it on the cabinet. And then I started to wonder what I was thinking. The color was lighter than I thought it would be and it scared me. <laughs> and then I was just really nervous about how it was gonna dry because we didn't thin the paint out at all. And I don't really like texture in my paint. I decided to keep going though and what do you know, it dried with more texture than I like. So I sanded it down to remove the texture and thin the paint out with 10% water. And then I sprayed the next coat of paint on. It went so much better this time, but once it was dry, I could see and feel air bubbles still, but there wasn't as much texture. So I sanded it again and I thinned it just a tiny bit more so I wouldn't run out of the paint and I sprayed a third coat. That was the ticket though. It's not perfect, but thinning the paint made it look and feel so much better. It dried for a day and then I removed the tape and taped off the bottom of the hutch so I could paint the inside of the cabinet without getting drips on the purple paint. And then I just brushed and rolled three coats of Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel on it. And oh, I love the look of the white interior. And the paint leveled out so great, it feels so nice and smooth. I should have just used this paint on the whole entire thing. And here is what it looks like now. It's bold and purple. <laughs> I have never painted anything purple before let alone a large china cabinet. But I like it. It's definitely a statement piece. So what do you think of the new look? Would you ever paint your furniture purple? Let me know in the comments. Want to turn your hobby into cash? Click the link in my comments to download the free pricing guide that we use to buy and sell furniture.